This is sick and horrifying. Satanic video game allows players to activate blood altars and quote, sacrifice your friends to demons. This is probably the most sickest game I've ever heard of. Talk about horror games and talk about taking it to the next level, actually demonically making covenants and giving demons authority in these quote unquote little video game sacrifices. You know, even if you don't shed blood, you're actually making covenants with demons in the spiritual realm. And again, it always starts with a video game and eventually it leads into real life playing and trying this in real life. I'm going to read this article and let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section below. Video game news site Push Square reported a new game called Deceit 2. Ah, who is the master of deception? This will allow players to sacrifice their friends to demons and activate blood altars in order to, quote, tear down the veil of reality. That's right. No longer is the devil non-existent. He is in your face. He's trying to tear down the veil of reality and show people the, how real the spiritual realm is. Okay, the new game is being categorized as a social survivor horror game. You guys know I was on the show Survivor. Thank God we didn't have to sacrifice anyone. My God, I would not be a part of it, even as an atheist. Okay. A social survivor horror game that will be available for both PS5 and PS4. This is a tweet sent out by Push Square. Sacrifice your friends to demons in a social survival horror deceit too on PS5 and PS4. I mean, look at this. It looks like a ritual. It looks like a sacrificial ritual. And it is. You're actually saying, okay, demons, this is... Not a big deal, but I'll sacrifice my friends to, to demons on altars. No, you are saying yes in the spirit. Man, those demons are going to jump on your kids, jump on your friends, because you're giving demons access. You're actually agreeing with them, even though it's just a video game. You're in agreement with these demonic spirits, and they can now have full reign on tearing your life apart. Let's keep going here. Deceit 2 is a six to nine player social deduction horror game where two among you have been infected whilst the infected do the game master's bidding. Oh, look, it's a master's bidding. Uh huh. Who's, who's your master. It's either Jesus or the devil. You got to pick one. So while the infected do the master's bidding, the innocent must work together to escape the ritual whilst deducing who is plotting against them. So who can you trust? Well, I only trust Jesus, but here we go. Infected players can activate blood altars across the map weakening the veil of reality until it breaks. This transports all players to the in-between, a parallel dimension in which the infected have terrifying powers. Infected players will wreak havoc and sabotage the efforts of innocent players, but can be eliminated if exposed outside of the in-between. Here's a look at the sadistic blood altar of the game. My goodness, look at this. I mean, this is a straight up blood sacrifice from someone's hand. Ah, again, these are covenants you're making, even though it's a video game and no blood has actually been shed. You're actually making covenants with these demons. The trailer is quite sinister, too. OK, the game master cordially invites you to play another little game. OK, so I'm going to play this trailer for you guys right now. Watch this. Wake up. What happened? You've been chosen this time. What the heck? I have a task for you. Both of you make them fear us. A realm of terror draws close. The in-between of our world and the horrors of the void. Give me your blood and I will show you. The innocent will not understand, but our benefactors demand tribute. Tributes paid with paranoia. Tributes of torment. Tributes of suffering.
The ritual of deceit has begun. Trust no one. Ex infected. It's sick. So sick. The game has been compared to as a more violent and dark version of the hit video game Among Us. I've never heard of that video game. Let me know in the comment section below if you know what the video game Among Us is. But funny fact, during the days leading up to the 2020 election, the Gateway Pundit reported that the video game Among Us prohibited users to have their username as vote for Trump, but allowed users to have their name as vote for Biden. Not surprising because we know what side they're on. Um, okay, let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, and share this video with someone. Answer this question for me. Would you let your kids play this game? Do you think this is just a video game and not a big deal? I want to know what your thoughts are down below.